Hey guys, this is Eric Weingarten with Weingarten Racing. Um, you might remember this head, just did a video on this about a week ago about this Vortec 906 head that a customer had sent in. I shouldn't, you know, he has a customer now, but he had ported this and I did a head review. And one of the most common things that was said from the video was, hey, you should do a valve job and show what, how much better it is. Well, because this guy, the customer actually said, yeah, go ahead. He's so always paying for it to do it. So what I've done here is, this is a really basic valve job and again, camera sucks, but this is a three angle valve job on the intake. It's not even five. This is the exact same one that was used on a set of stock Vortec heads that I compared to in the last video. This is the same exhaust valve job. This is just a radius. Valve sizes didn't change. This is the intake valve. Now it's got a back cut on it now and I really am starting to hate this iPhone. The last one, zoom in so much better, but you could tell that there's a back cut on it, kind of. There we go. So you can see. But I'm going to reflow it and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I talked to the customer and, and I already showed him the results from the three angle valve job. And we both talked and thought, hey, let's try a five angle valve job. So this is my most mild one. I've got ones that will take out way more material than this. And now you're looking at it like, that ain't five. Look, there's only three. I've lapped in the seat. That's the seat right there. One, two, three. Right? No. Check this out. Um, here we have better angles. Too bad the iPhone doesn't focus very well, but here we go. That right there, that gray one's a seat. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. And then you can see the ledge now that's left because it's cutting out more material when it does this valve job. Hopefully the light will capture it better. Phone focus. It's like trying to talk to my kid. Focus, focus, son. Focus camera. But anyway, there you can see I'm pretty good. That ledge, I'm going to go ahead and smooth out, and then we're going to reflow it. Um, if you'd started with this to begin with, it probably would be really good. But anyway, there's five in it, at least in parts of the port. Had I, If you did the same thing, if I cut this one right now on this one that hasn't been ported, all five would be the whole way around. No doubt, because there's so much material here. Uh, his material's already gone, so that's the reason why you only see the three there. Let me roll it back to show you again. So the reason why he's only got three here is because he's removed that. But if I was cutting the valve job, that would come in perfect. But anyway, I'm gonna blend this and then reflow it and we'll have that result. Okay, I thought this might be easier for you guys to see. What I did is I used the iPhone to take a picture because it seems like it captures better images with a picture than through a video. But what you see here on the intake side is just a simple three angle valve job. You got your 45 degree seat, 30 degree top cut, 60 degree undercut. Very common, very basic. The widths are probably different from each ones that you might get, but that's what it is. As you can tell, it's not digging in, taking a ton of material out on the intake side. The exhaust side, it's a 45 degree seat with a radius, and that's what it is. Um, I would say it's mildly aggressive on the exhaust, but not too much, but that's what this is. This is a better picture of the five angle valve job. So it, um, only thing that's different from last time with three angle is just put the five angle on. But this picture lets you see the angles better. Where I'm pointing, that's the 45 degree seat. So that's what makes actual contact with the valve. And then you could see the end of the angles there. Now I'm not gonna tell you them because this is one of my custom cutters, but um, it's by far not my most aggressive. And as you could tell, it does leave that ledge there because it's removing more material. Before I show you the flow numbers, I thought I'd show you what it looks like um, after it's been blended. As you could tell, I'm not, taking huge chunks out, there's still other angles there. You're like, well, not all five angles are there. You're correct. And typically when I'm porting heads anyway, and remember I didn't port this head. This is a, another a customer had ported these and then sent them in for me to do a review. And then he asked me to do the valve job. So I did not port these. I don't want to pretend to be that way. But all I did was just blend in that ledge that you saw with the five angle when it got done cutting. Sometimes it takes away some of the angles, which is okay if you're blending. Now you might be tempted to say, why don't you just do a radius on the intake side? Well, those angles actually help fuel shear. You don't need fuel shear on the exhaust, but you do on the intake. So some do get removed, but it's not a big deal as long as they go together, but you do have to have some. So now, if you, then by the way, there's the exhaust port too. You get a better idea of what's happened with that. It kind of blends in better. But now let's get to the flow numbers. Okay, here are the numbers, and I'm gonna go through them just so you get an idea. If you haven't watched the previous video, you really should. I'll probably put a link at the end of this video so you can click on it to watch the initial video from a week ago that had this on there. It won't have these two, obviously. So anyway, 
and the previous video I showed this. This was a Vortec 906 head that the only thing was done was a three angle valve job. That's it, no port work, period. When the this guy sent in this head, he had ported this one and it had no valve job done and this is what it did that way. And I showed, well, look how much better, especially if, you know, at four, it's barely, le it's really the same. I mean, he did all that port work and then this guy just did a valve job, that's all we did. And it's matched the same number at 400 valve lift. So, guy said, let's do the three angle. Here's what three angle looks like. So if you look at it, it went from 219 to 231. That, my friends, is a large jump, huge jump. And, uh, did it take any more work with the grinder? Nope, none at all. And if you look at the other points too, it's the same at one, it's two CFM better at two, it's uh, almost 10 CFM better at three, and more than 10, well, about 10 CFM at four as well. Now it did lose at five though, so you went from a 244 to a 229. And it's better at six, it's a little bit, it's worse at seven, and it's also worse at eight. But let's be honest, these guys aren't cut. So the most lift you're probably gonna get is a 450. So that's a win. And even if you did have a higher lift cam, you're spending more time here, it's a win. So that three angle alone was worth it. Now this is their exhaust valve job stock. So that looked like this. And now it looks like this, just the radius. He did, so he'd already ported. So this is the ported one, just showing you. Ported one, stock valve job. All I did was change the valve job. Let's look what happens. Uh, about the same at one. And, oh, it lost like five CFM at two. But look, gains nine CFM at three. And it gains nine CFM at four. And it gains about two CFM at five. Then it's about a wash. They're about the same. So one CFM down at six, same at seven, and one CFM down at eight. So easy, no grinding, valve job, helped on the exhaust. Now here's the five angle. Now this is where it gets a little tricky because obviously I had to do some blending, which you can tell. And now you should have seen in the video. But let's see what happens. So we're just going from three angle to five angle. Really, what could go wrong, right? So it looks like it gained just a smidge air at one. And then at two, we gain about one CFM. So pretty much a wash. Lost four CFM at three, bummer there. And then at four, it went from 231 to 227. So it lost about four there. But here's the exception. None of the rest did this. So in case you're wondering, why do you have a, this point here, but you don't have them for the rest? This is that 450 lift, this number right here. And the reason for it is this, it's pretty simple. Usually when I'm flowing ahead, I'll see it. Like if you look at this one, it went 230, then it dropped back. It went 219, kept climbing. If I see what I'm doing here, it's still climbing. I try to find where it stopped climbing. And that's what happened here. None of the rest did this. This went 231 and it dropped off a little to 228. It never climbed right up and then started dropping down. Same with this one. It didn't go 250 down to 243. This did, the five angle. So it went 227, but then it went 246, which is more than, uh, yeah, it's more than it's flowed anywhere else, period, at 450 lift. So by the way, that, that's a pretty, pretty good number there for 450, 246. And then if you look, it's better at five, we're a little bit better with the five angle. At six, we're two CFM better. We're almost five CFM better at seven and about the same at eight. So this one, you're like, well, you lost here though. That's true, but to gain so much here, cause I, I didn't record this one, but if I did, it would probably have been 231 or 229. It wasn't 246. That's a huge get, gain. This is going to make more power. It just is. So either one of these is going to make more power than what it did stock. So now you've got some answers. How much the valve job is worth. So you have your three angle, five angle. Now, don't think all five angles are the same. Because I, like I said, this is my most mild one. I've got some that are way more aggressive. And they will remove more material. And they, if you blend them, they will flow more air. So it's, it's about not only the angles, but how wide each angle is. And especially the top cut. Anyway, hopefully that gives you some information. You got something on this Vortex stuff. If you're porting Vortex, like I've said before, the most important thing you can do is the valve job, which is proven right here. Then you can get your grinder and go to work. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, I'm no Superman. You guys take care.